Hi, I'm Sonny. Coming up next on the forum, I'll be sitting down with Natalie Morrill, the founder of the Twin Cities Black Film Festival. That's coming up next on the forum. Hi, I'm Sonny. Thank you for joining SPNN's Forum. Sitting with me today, I have Natalie Morrow, the founder of the Twin Cities Black Film Festival. I said it right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much yeah. for meeting us out here at Seven Sushi. <laughs> wow. Thank you for having me. I oh, appreciate it. I'm, I'm honored to sit with you. I, I, I have to be honest with you. I know most of your work from social media, uh -huh. so I have a lot of questions okay. for you to start out with. So Absolutely. first, of all, what's your background and how did you get started with this this big event that's been going on for 13 years now? Yes, okay. 13 years. Well, I started off actually uh, as a promoter, so I was doing concerts and um, you know uh, bringing concerts. I started off with um, hip hop and then I did some gospel and in the in the Twin Cities, in right? The Twin okay. Cities. okay. So you know, I some of the people that I brought, I was the first person to bring DMX. So the Lost Boys was probably my first show at First Avenue. Nice. Um, and then I went on to work with like Ja Rule and um, Diddy, and I worked with Jay Z. So a lot of people, and then. Um, I kind of got out of that. Well, yeah, I kind of got out of that, and then I went to celebrity fashion shows. So we did uh, Carl Kanai, and uh, uh, we did Morris Chestnut, and that was my first fashion show. We did it at the Metropolitan Ballroom. So from there, fashion, music, and then film, and then I decided to start a film festival. Nice. So, so when you were younger, were you like getting all your friends together and <laughs> pretending they were celebrities? Like, how? Did, I mean, what, what what was your interest when you were little? Well, I think um, you know, traveling around the country and uh, going to different events <clears throat> that I'd seen, like in Miami and different mm -hmm. places like that. And you know, they had these fabulous events where they were celebrity fashion shows and concerts. And I thought, well, we could do something like that here in Minnesota. And so, you know, I kind of thought about it, researched it, and then did it. Started my own business with it. Okay. So. Again, you're in your 13th year. Yes. What did the first year look like? The first year was absolutely crazy because I, you know, I researched it. I decided that I could do it. I kind of looked at a, um, I went to a film festival in Miami. So I just kind of scaled it down from, you know, here living in Minneapolis as opposed to Miami and uh, started a festival from that. So the first one, um, we had definitely had a lot of people come out, but it wasn't as, smoothly ran as it could have been but for my first try I thought well you know what this is something I like and I, I want to still do. Who your guest then? Uh, I think my guest the first year was Adam Rodriguez from CSI Miami. Okay. And nice. so yeah he was awesome and he came he did a really good job but yeah so I started off um, I think it was Adam Rodriguez. Okay. So what happens at the film festival when for, for outsiders when they hear the film festival when I okay automatically when I think of festival I think food. <laughs> Obviously, this is film. So, I mean, what happens? Is it over a couple of days? Is it one day? It's four days. So, over four days, there's there's panel discussions, there's films, there's meet and greets, there's ne networking opportunities, there's also vendor opportunities for people with small businesses to have their um, business showcased at our festival. There's festival parties. Mm -hmm. So, it's a lot of stuff. So, for the panel discussions, do you? What's, 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 what are you discussing this year? Uh, this year we are discussing, um, we have one for addiction. We're doing a health and wellness. And so one is on a round table about addiction. Um, so our focus this year is about health and wellness because um, you know, I think it's super important for us to, to show why it is good to be healthy and well. Um, and then we're also going to do one on Black Hollywood. OK, OK. So what? And actually, I take that back. There's one more. Um, uh, Christopher Play Martin from Kitten Play, mm -hmm. he's going to be here and he has a film about should hip hop be taught in schools. And he has a documentary on that, so we're actually going to do that around around uh, his his documentary as well. Oh, I want I want to get more into the Hollywood uh, question, okay. obviously, but you said you're talking about health. I, I would assume that it's a film festival, so how are you connecting that? It, it, do you want it to be 
do you want films to show more concerns or issues around health? I mean, why discuss health? Well, there are, you have a lot of films that, that are there, there that surround themselves around health and mm -hmm. wellness. One of them, um, Soul Food Junkies, which we showed last year, and it was about a guy that his father passed away. He loved soul food, but he he was uh, he had diabetes, and he really died from from that. And so after his father passed, um, he went around the country to see how many other people in black you know in our black community eat soul food. Do they think about healthy things? It's super interesting, and so that made me think about you know when we look at the issues with insurance and things like that mm -hmm. and, and you know Michael Moore has done you know um, he's a uh, filmmaker and he's done the ones where he ate McDonald's for 30 days mm -hmm. and showed what kind of effects that it had like, and right. what his body looked like so I thought it was you know something this year that we wanted to uh, to actually kind of showcase that and have at our festival. So for the Black Hollywood portion mm -hmm. is that what you're using to what, what are you using to promote the event? What are you using to attract new people and still have people who've been coming still keep them salivating? Well, we, will, we do commercials. We have um, a, a team of marketing people. Social media is very big. Mm -hmm. um, we also have, um, so like Christopher Martin, they're going to do, he has a, a whole um, television station in, I think it's Tallahassee. Mm -hmm. And he does, it's called New Brand News TV. Okay. And so he's going to do some stuff. And then Keith Robinson from Dream Girls and Get On Up, he will be here. He's performing on October 9th. Yes. Um, so he, he also is really big on helping promoters who bring him to different cities to promote their event. Do, do you have any local acts that are going to be there? Yeah, we will have some local acts and we haven't uh, Giving them out as of oh okay <laughs> okay okay I was gonna say I, I want to know if, if I know yeah. somebody keep my ear to the ground so um, so one well, of I go ahead take that back Church and the Dirty Thought okay. because they're actually uh, backing Keith up and so they're a hot new band out um, and they they were at Soda Fest they've done uh, they opened up for Guapale when they did the music in the parks mm -hmm. um, so they are actually opening up for uh, they are the backup band for Keith Robinson. Two questions. Yes. So I forgot the other one. Okay, well, I'll just go with this one. What's been the most successful? What's been the most successful element of, of the festival? The most successful element of the festival is really the films that are chosen every year. So, you know, that really gears who comes, like, um, and who's, like, the actors that, that actually come are actresses. And so usually with those surrounded with films that they have, that's, those seem to be the big things. Our parties are always really big, too. Mm -hmm. um, this year we're doing a 25th anniversary house party for the film. That's mm -hmm. why we're having Christopher play. So that's going to be at Faces in Mears Park. That's awesome. And so it's a house party jam. So it should be really cool with 90s music, DJ uh, Ha Watt and Joe Smith uh, that do Sensational Saturdays. So that's going to be one of our big events. Okay, so I'm, I'm confused. <laughs> I'll be honest with you, I'm confused. You got... Chris from Kid and Play coming, right? Yep. And he is premiering his own film that he's doing, Correct. right? A and a documentary for hip hop, right? About whether it should be taught in schools. And also, we're showing a house party because it's the 25th anniversary, so that's why he's here as well. It's the 25th anniversary of, of house, house Party, party. the classic is film. It, is there? Oh, I know House Party. Yes. <laughs> is, is so? Is someone filming all of these events while they're going on? Uh, we do have people that come. We do have interns that we work with, mm. um, but. But yeah, sometimes it's certain things and not necessarily all things, but this year I was thinking that we probably would um, film or... Like you had, I, to, I, to me it sounded like you should definitely film yeah. House Party. Oh, <laughs> most definitely. That will, will definitely be... And it's going to be at Faces Mirrors Park in St. Right. Paul. Okay, so... And that's Saturday, October 10th. Okay, can you, can you give me juicy details about that? Like more, <laughs> or, or, or is it... Well, it first? will be, uh, he will do a meet and greet, uh, Christopher Martin will do a meet and greet, and um, we haven't decided what we're going to do, how, how we're going to do that yet, but once uh, uh, he gets here, he said he'll talk about that, but he will definitely be at the party, so people will get to meet him, take right. pictures with him, okay. and, uh, you know, it is a, a classic film, so I thought we would definitely show that, and, and you know, they're, they're celebrating it across the country at a lot of festivals, so okay. we definitely wanted him to come. Okay, so so let's, let's pretend we are a week past this okay. year's film festival. What does planning that look like? Uh, a whole year. Uh, I usually start um, right after Christmas, like uh, January 1st. Okay. I honestly start. Uh, it takes a, a long time. You know, we have big sponsors, HBO, Lexus, Microsoft. 
um, you know, Ciroc this year, Patron. Um, and so we, you know, we do plan uh, in a year in advance. Okay. What, what has been, in the last 13 years, what's been your biggest obstacle? My biggest obstacle is really showing that we're a very diverse uh, film festival. 70% um, of my uh, attendees are Caucasian and 30% are African American. Wow, really? Yeah, so it's kind of swapped. Yeah. But, and so for me, I, I just want to be able to show that it's very, and I think that they, you know, with 70% as, you know, of other ethnicities shows that we are, mm -hmm. but I really want um, the community to know that we have a little bit for everybody. You know, okay. there's all kinds of films. Uh, you know, this year we're showing Black Wall Street. We have a lot of different films that are awesome, mm -hmm. and um, we would just love people to come out and enjoy, you mm -hmm. know, from, from all over, not just Minneapolis, St. Paul, you know, and surrounding suburbs. Okay. Do you think there's a reason why the attendees are... I don't know. Um, that, that, that's something I often ponder and think about what it could be, but we work with all the colleges, mm -hmm. um, you know, there's lots of interviews that I, I do leading up to the festival. Mm -hmm. and. Um, you know, so we're this every year. I try to think of different ways that we can reach people, mm -hmm. and so this year we'll probably do a few commercials, which is something we haven't done on television. Mm -hmm. So I think that definitely reaches a broader audience, right, right. and so people kind of know what's going on. So there are, I'm pretty sure there are other film festivals that are going on around the country, or oh, we'll yeah. just say in yeah. the in the Midwest, we'll yep. just keep it real mm -hmm. local, yep. regionally. What are you offering that they aren't offering? Because is this. I, I'm, I, I tell every guest that I mm -hmm. um, speak with that I'm from Chicago, mm -hmm. and so is, this is so cool being on SPNA because I get to learn mm -hmm. so many different things. And um, Well, what you were asking is what do we offer that other that festivals... Other, that other festivals are not doing... Re, let, we'll just keep it in the Midwest first mm -hmm. and then nationally. Well, one of the things I think is that we are, uh, you know, compared to like the American Black Film Festival or, or Pan African Film Festival, you know, we're definitely smaller. It's our region. People think of Minnesota, they think cold, they think Prince, they think Mall of America. Right. They don't think a lot of African Americans are here. Right. So, you, so right away that that's one of our obstacles because people don't think of us as a Detroit or Chicago or if you're planning a vacation, oh, let's go to Minnesota. Oh, it's cold there. So that they always think that. Mm -hmm. So that's our biggest obstacle. Um, I think the timing is is good though because you know I have to look at what festivals are happening across the country. Mm -hmm. So this is a good time for our festival. It's after Toronto. It's after Sundance. So we're not competing to with with um, festivals that get films that we're trying to get from the big studios. So mm -hmm. I have to think about all those things, and it's it's really just timing. When you say get films, what do you mean? Meaning that we work with Fox or 20th Century Fox, like we are doing tonight. Um, the Empire. This is mm -hmm. one of the official uh, screenings for Empire. So we are working with 20th Century Fox in LA. So that means that you know this is that's corporate. So we we have to follow what they're doing and uh, you know if I and wanted, how they're I releasing it film and, right. that hasn't been released yet. For an example, we went after Creed. Uh, with Michael B. Jordan, it comes out in November, but they do uh, shop them at festivals. So, so you basically you put in a bid to get that. And so, if it's a film, if if it's Minis or Twin Cities Black Film Festival, and they have Toronto that wants the same film, obviously they're going to do Toronto. It's a lot larger, mm -hmm. televised. You know, Access Hollywood. These people are there, and they're there for that festival. So that's what is different between us. With regards to Minnesota, we're the only um, African American festival. Mm -hmm. There are Just several in Minnesota, in Minnesota. Okay. but um, but then when you do uh, when you look at uh, the Midwest as a whole, then you know Chicago would be the next city that has uh, the, larger. the larger festival. Mm -hmm. So be Chicago and Minnesota are the only ones in the Midwest, what we consider Midwest, the Dakotas, right. um, you know, Nebraska, so on and so forth. So you mentioned something about college students and you working with college students. Mm -hmm. um, could you tell me a little bit more about that with the youth media? Are you featuring any of their work at the... We encourage that, but uh, when I was talking about uh, colleges, we uh, all of our like graphics and our web maintenance and all of that are done by interns. We work with um, AI. We work with the U of M Brown College, and so this is a way for them to get credit in their classes. 
um, working with our festival and it gives them hands-on opportunity to shoot, see their graphics, see you know their web things going on. Um, the other thing is that youth, we, we have had, I think the youngest we've ever had was 15 years old. Um, and so we encourage everyone, their whole class came out, um, you know, for the, for, it was an animated uh, film actually, it was excellent. Um, and then, you know, we do encourage that. So the Edu, uh, Edu Film Festival, I think that's South High School, we've encouraged to have some of their, um, you know, we've asked them to have some of their films or shorts shown in our festival. So we definitely encourage it. We also do encourage local filmmakers. Last year we had 15 local um, filmmakers. This year we have probably seven. So every year it fluctuates as how many that we get, but we have films from all over the country okay. that, you know, um, um, obviously are in there and every once in a while we'll get a film internationally um, we had a, a film about uh, skateboarding actually and it was from Germany it was excellent nice. and so um, and then we had one um, with regards to um, when they do the graffiti on the walls mm -hmm. and how they turned in uh, someone that kept getting arrested for graffiti and made him take an art class because he was super talented. Nice. So that was his his uh, Story, his film. yeah that was his basically <laughs> basically his punishment. But it was a good thing. Right. So, yeah. Okay. So for, for just so everybody knows when this is all happening because this is this <laughs> huge. There's 30 things going on. Yes. When exactly does the black the Twin Cities Black Film Festival? The take film place? festival takes place October 8th through the 11th. It will be at Intermedia Arts. Um, it is for four days. We start off with um, um, uh, presenting um, and working with Bahamian and Sun. Mm -hmm. And that, that is from Soul Tools, that's Toki Wright and Miss Britt and uh, Reginald. And so this film is, is uh, Reggie's film. So we'll be at the Ice House uh, that, that day. But we're also promoting uh, Things Your Man Won't Do, the play. So oh, nice. we're partnering with them. And then Friday, we're, uh, we're at Intermedia Arts, uh, Keith Robinson Live with Church and the Dirty Thought. And uh, Saturday, we're at Intermedia Arts the entire time. And then Sunday, we are, we're going to be doing Rhythm and Rhymes. It's Poetry and Music, Neil Soul, and that's sponsored by Lexus. So Okay. Yes. I don't mean to sound confusing, but when is the house party taking place? And that's on Saturday. <laughs> yes, I forgot that part. That was Saturday, October 10th. That's at Faces in Mirrors Park, and that will be with Christopher Play Martin. Um, and so we'll have the 90s. I think it'll be super fun. That's one of my favorite films from, uh, you know, a classic one. So I think everybody's going to come out and have a good time. I think so, too. <laughs> so uh, just in case someone didn't catch all of this yes. and they don't got their DVR on, <laughs> where can they get all this information at? You can get it on our website, uh, www.tcbff.org. Or you can also find us on social media, uh, Twin Cities Black <laughs> Film Festival. On Instagram, we're at tcbff. Um, we're on Pinterest, uh, Pinterest, Tumblr, you can find us for sure. And uh, with um, flyers and things you'll see around town as well. And if someone wants to contact you? They can contact me. That would be Twin Cities Black Film Festival at gmail.com. So awesome. they can contact me. Awesome. Right. Thank you so much for coming out here. I know you're you super so busy. I know you got somewhere here. to go. I appreciate it. I really do appreciate it. Thank you so much. For Not a problem. Okay. <laughs> You've been watching SPN Inform. Thank you. <laughs>